There were a lot of other uh, female stars, uh, especially in the 4x1s and 4x4s. Notably, Sha'Carri Richardson. She was on the track. Uh, she ran the anchor leg of the 4x1. They didn't win, but there was no way she was going to close the gap that the Aaliyah Hobbs-led team had. So she still ran a strong anchor leg. I wasn't able to watch it because I was standing by the media tent. But what did Sha'Carri look what did you think her form was like? I mean, you can't really tell much from a four yeah, by one. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you she, could, uh, you can't really tell the difference between eleven oh nine and a and a ten eighty. So, yeah, it's tough to separate any of these women because you look at these top three teams: Jefferson, Steiner, Prandini, Hobbs, Oliver, Terry, Daniels, Richardson, Briscoe, Brown, Kinnison, Thomas. You know, there's a world where so many of those women end up being on the actual U.S. Yeah. four by one team, and it was tough. She looked. I mean, she was next to Thomas on that anchor leg, and, and she was in the mix. Hobbs had a big lead, and obviously, Leah Hobbs has been running insane right now. So it, it's very tough to catch yeah. Leah Hobbs right now. But what it told me is, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of U.S. women right now who are ten seven mid to probably ten nine zero, and USA's is going to be really interesting once we start getting actual open hundred meter times. Perhaps there'll be some separation. Perhaps someone ran a amazing third leg we have no idea well or we're like oh that looked real fast but sometimes it can be a, a bit deceiving based on where they got the baton or they're on the curve versus someone running on the back stretch you just don't know until you get open times until you get individual times because even in championships like you watch a relay sometimes you watch the first time and then your eyes can deceive you about what you're seeing but at the very least you know she was healthy she was out there competing um, on one of the top relay teams. So I, I'm, I'm excited to see where the women's American 100-meter group goes from here. Yeah, it was in, they were setting – I was standing by the area where they're setting up the anchor leg, like the tape and stuff, and the women go on, and uh, they're setting up the tape, and then someone shouts, oh, they're, they're doing men first. They're doing men first. Oh, and they had to and get they, off? And then the women, like, get off. And then then they were like, actually, no, we the oh. women are actually first. So then the women go back on. And so it was like this, like, snip, 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 step back and forth. Uh just seeing like the it's kind of cool just to have a courtside view of seeing all these stars like you know Marvin Bracey's and Shakira Richardson's Gab Thomas it's like all just Leah Hobbs just like right chilling there. setting it up and it's like wow this is like the fastest people in the world mm -hmm. or not the fastest person in the world. sorry Jamaica you know but fa the the top yeah ten caliber athletes in the world and seeing them on the track was pretty cool Shakira is very popular there she when they crossed the finish line her and a few other athletes. It took her a long time to get from the finish line back to the media tent because, yep. or like the athlete area, because she had stopped for every photo. Just mm -hmm. like, and there was just a pack of fans, like every 10 meters, <laughs> she had to constantly do it. So, and it wasn't just Shakari. Abby Steiner had the same situation where she kept on getting stopped. But you know who got stopped the most? Bowling? Matthew Bowling. Yeah. Texas. It, got, it took him 35 minutes. To go from the finish to back to, luckily it was the final event. So yeah. that's probably also why, because all everyone was like, "Hey, it's Leaving the last, it's the last the, guy." Yeah, so, yeah. but uh, it was cool seeing the, the stars kind of sign autographs, take selfies with the fans. Uh, it's kind of cool. Texas, really, you're right on the track. It's not really big space. So, and the athletes were all very, they, they, they weren't like, no, they were like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. Texas relay. So I'm not. They don't have nowhere to go. They, they got. They're just doing relays. They don't need to cool down right away. They yeah. took the time.